You need some childcare options as said. You clicked on the right video. I'm here to help you to choose the right childcare option for your child and for your family. Number one is the childcare center. We all know and aware about the childcare centers. It's not the best option. The childcare centers is a commercially run and there is huge amount of children. You can imagine a big factory and this is what the childcare centers are. They are very pricey. There is no individual attention to a child. It is a very big possibility that the person you meet in the morning won't be the person you're going to see in the afternoon. So no one knows what happened to your child. Yes, they keep the record, but do they know how your child felt? But do they know if he was sad or she was playing with some children that you are not aware of? You don't know and they can't tell you. It's not the educator's fault. This is the system of the childcare centers. The next option are the most amazing is relatives. And relatives are very simple. It could be your brother, sisters, grandparents, parents, anyone who is related to you or to your partner. So they can look after your child sometime during the week. And this is absolutely fantastic because it, usually it's cheap. Um, I would even say sometimes it's free. Then we have very personal care. Those people, they love your child. They want to spend time with your child. However, this option sometimes is not possible. As if you are like myself, the immigrant in a different country, I don't have any relatives. So that option is going in the bin. So the next option is nanny. Nanny is uh, great. I love I absolutely love nannies. However, this is probably the most expensive choice. If you can afford to have a nanny, that would be amazing for children under three years of age. The reason I'm saying under three, because once they turn three, they need more social interaction. If your child is under three, I cannot recommend a better care than having a nanny come into your house, your child in the family environment, and the amount of the time the child is going to spend with other children as going to the park, going to the libraries, or whatever the social interaction that you create, not what the child care centers say, is more than enough for children under three. So nanny is probably one of my favorite. However, there is a big negative. It is very, very pricey. Not everybody can afford to have a nanny. So that's why the nanny is number three on that list. Next on my list is a family daycare. Family daycare is a childcare center, but it is run within a house of the educator. So that means that the house that the educator lives in is actually set up as a childcare center. And the reason it's number two is because there, there is one educator and the educator knows children inside out. They spend all the time with your child. You, you see them in the morning. You say exactly how the child felt during the night. Did they have a sleep? Are they feeling a little bit under the weather? You say every single thing, a child. You say every single thing that educator needs to know to provide the best possible care for your child. Within family daycare, there the same amount of children every day. They are not necessarily the same children, but there is a similar amount of children every single day. So that means that your child has uh, can have a friendship can learn the social interaction within a family daycare. The reason it's number two is because the family daycare usually is not very flexible because they still have to follow exactly the same procedures, everything exactly the same as childcare centers. So they don't have that possibility as a nanny do. However, they are quite cheap because you have to pretty much split the cost between the number of families. Number one on this list, and this is my favorite option for every single child, is nanny share. 
I believe that nanny share is the greatest childcare option for any children under preschool age. The reason for this is that nanny share provides the same quality as nanny, but you split the cost between two or could be three families. This is depends on the, depending on the nanny, if the nanny is agreed to look after that many children. So you split the cost between that many families. Yes, there are perks and there are negatives in this as well because some children are sick and who pays for that part. Yes, there are negatives. However, considering what your child is going to get from that care and that the child is going to spend one week in your in your home and then another week in a very unfamiliar environment as somebody else's house that gives them possibility of being of being exposed to outside world outside of the house world as well there is also a great opportunity for children to have social interaction and make friends because nannies share they um they usually look at least after two children i made another video that you might like and it's about the nanny share and the commercial daycare centers so if you're interested click that video and i'll see you next time bye